This is something I've shared with the people closest to me and they've come back to me and told me what things have changed in their lives surrounding them. And it is crazy, it is wild that this one thing makes such a big difference. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be the most important video that I've ever made. I'm gonna talk about something that has completely changed my life. And it's something I know that God has put on my heart to share with people. I'm gonna start off with a scripture. I'm reading from Matthew chapter six in the New International Version, NIV, talking about prayer. And when you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners to be seen by others. Truly I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door and pray to your father who is unseen. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. I usually don't read from the King James version, but I wanna read this scripture again from this translation because it makes a lot of sense with what I'm about to talk about. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut the door, pray to thy father which is in secret and thy father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. So what I'm talking about today is quiet time. In my walk with God, something that has been a struggle for me has been finding consistent quiet time over the years and finding time for that throughout the day. And it's always best People usually say to do that in the morning and to start off your day in prayer just when you have the least distractions and less, you know, not as many things going on early in the morning. But it's just hard to do sometimes. It's hard to stick to that every single day. But it's so necessary to spend that time every day with God. And that's something that I just was finding really difficult to be consistent with. And recently, it was over the summer, I wanna say it was in August, my dad showed me a video where a pastor was talking about the importance of going into your closet. Basically, the one thing that has been so helpful in me growing my relationship with God, something that's responsible for me getting back here on YouTube for just really clarity in my relationship with God, my walk with God has been going into my closet over there, literally going, sitting in the closet, closing the door behind me and sitting in complete silence. And this has been so important for me and it's changed my life in so many ways that I just can't wait to talk about over time on my channel. But that was a pivotal point not just in my walk with God, but in my life. I looked up and life just looked different shortly following that. I don't know how else to describe it, but it just changed my life. Um, it's really that impactful of it. You know, I'm just in awe when I think about it, when I talk about it and it's just an undeniable thing that happens. When I go into my closet, I go in there, I sit on a pillow, I close the door, and one of the main things I do is um, I go in there and it's a moment where I'm not expecting anything. I literally say, I say, God, I'm not expecting anything. I'm not expecting you to do anything, to say anything. I'm not even expecting to have some huge moment where I just had this like big encounter, anything like that. There is something so powerful about offering just silence to God, just complete total silence and just leaving it up as an offering to him. This is something I've shared with the people closest to me and they've come back to me and told me what things have changed in their lives surrounding them and it is crazy, it is wild that 
this one thing makes such a big difference. There's just something so powerful about offering that time and that space to God where you're not asking for anything. You know, there's other times in prayer where you should be talking to God and asking him for things and um, praising him, worshiping him, all of those things. But this is a separate time where I found time throughout the day, whether it's in the morning, whether it's in the afternoon or at night, taking like 15 to 20 minutes and just sitting in complete silence and saying, God, this is an offering to you. I'm offering this time and this space just to acknowledge who you are, to acknowledge that you are real. I put my trust in you and I'm just going to be silent. I'm just going to be still. It reminds me of Exodus chapter 14, verse 14, which reads, the Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. And I'm just reminded of this verse because sometimes all you can do is take things to God in prayer and be still. And this is a moment that you can take throughout your day to just really sit in stillness and just acknowledge God, acknowledge that he's there with you. And I really believe that it's something that can give you a perspective shift about your relationship with God and just open up that quality time to spend with him that you'd spend talking to your friend on the phone, getting to know somebody and it's just a powerful time where you never know if he can speak to you. A lot of times I will have my notebook and a pen ready just in case I feel like he's saying something to me or that um, I believe that he's speaking to me and then I will just write things down and so that is something that I tell my closest friends, I tell my family, I'm telling you because it changed everything and I'll talk about that more in the coming weeks because I'm back here on my channel every Wednesday sharing testimonies, stories about my faith and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you next Wednesday.